butter, sugar, spice, and everything nice. And then just let it simmer in the pot for about 20 minutes. <laughs> and finally, Chemical X. You get a god. No, it can't be. Uh, yeah, no, it's it. It is. Hi. <laughs> Joey's now officially the voice of no pair she had. Oh, god. I'm a fire and a mediocre employee. Oh god. And then Fadro is Blossom. Who's Buttercup? Callus, I guess. No, but he was just becoming good again. This is like her, this is like the prayer, prayer. of Canada. <laughs> it's a magical prayer that called on the power of the ocean or something like Cast that. Cast light upon the darkened earth. Save those lost in despair. Oh my ocean. God. Guide us as we journey through darkest the darkest pit, pit of night. night. <clears throat> Flashback to the beginning of the game. Know. By the way, Joey, those, that, those were Graham and Leon right there. We're just not yeah. supposed to know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. In the place before, that's where they first met. And then this is when they're stranded in another dimension. And then they'd be saved by the great Yep. You said you're from Mira. I lied. It's actually hot coffee. Callus, <laughs> let's do our best. For everyone, I believe in you. Believe. 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 <laughs> Does this remind you of Icarus and one? No, I'm kidding. That was kind of a different thing, but he did kind of rip his wings off. Yeah? Just one of them, though. He actually starts out the game with just one wing, and then he has like a robotic thing called a winglet. He is like a potpourri of body parts, right? Yeah, pretty much. Claudia, I swear, I'll drive my Persia as many as from this world to let the right back to the depth of darkness. Quality voice acting right there. Yep. Really quality voice acting. I just can't wait until we uh, get to a certain scene that has some excellent voice acting. I'm trying to remember what you're talking about. <laughs> Gotta love that evil laugh. Very amusing. Dragons! Oh my god, he just ran in. Ha! How 
what can you hope to achieve, Callus, without a god to protect you? Enough of this nonsense. I'll grant you the Ooh, honor. not even like kill, annihilated. the sound effect that plays in Sonic Colors when you use the laser wisp. <laughs> also, uh, plot convenience Mizuti saving technique. Who are you? The great Mizuti the <laughs> great. Yeah, she summoned a bunch of ghosts. And the ghosts are making Malpertio turn to slime. I bet they, I bet, I think the ghosts work for Nickelodeon. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how they generate their slime. <laughs> they revive dead gods and then <laughs> summon ghosts to turn them into slime. <laughs> You have a face. You're important. You're yeah. an important Nickelodeon yeah. ghost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So also, uh, in any text-based RPGs where they have like pictures like this, if they have a picture, they're important. <laughs> That's how it works. Yay! <laughs> we got the broken ocean mirror. Now I'm pretty sure that does like nothing for healing, right? Heals 250, which oh. is like half of what the worst healing cards you should have at this point are. Is it true that somewhere in this world there's a huge puddle called the ocean and a big old fish called the whale swimming around in it? I heard the whale is so smart, it'll know the answer to anything you ask. This sounds like Phantom Hourglass. Ooh, I don't <laughs> I've never met anyone who's actually seen that picture. Also, Georg has pink hair. Yeah, he does. A little bit. I think it's a weirdly colored gray, though. I guess so. Hmm. I think there really is an ocean. But sea. where could it be? The whale must be there, too. I want. Where and could the whale be? You want to ask? It's a secret. Can't tell anyone. Not even you. <gasps> Oh, a secret, is it? Okay, so this is Callus' grandfather and his kid brother, Fee. Well, Ooh, they were still alive. Yeah, two years ago, when shit hit the fan for everyone, they were murdered by Imperial soldiers. Really? And that's what sure. sent Callus on a power quest really to avenge them, which eventually led to him resurrecting Malpertio. Promise? So that, that, those are his Promise. motivations for you and me being together. evil. <laughs> Melodia literally doesn't have a motivation. Malpersia just whispers stuff in her ear. <laughs> I think she's, she's one of those characters that just does it just because she thinks it's fun. Hey, kind of like the Joker. Go yeah. What I want to know is where is this in Mira? Where is there actually grass in Mira? I thought it was like all this crystal. This looks too stuff. normal to be Mira. What the or maybe that's exactly the point. Mira is just a bunch of random crap. Yeah. Oh, and this is actually really weird. Also, their running speed. Yeah. That's wrong, Fee. That and they just randomly come across a dead body. How would they not have seen that earlier? <laughs> yeah, maybe they were running towards nothing, it. The screen didn't like, pan far enough. Nothing like nothing like a random dead body to remind you of your mortality. <laughs> yeah. Guess what we promised won't happen ever. So flash forward to their house getting burned down. <laughs> by the Imperial soldiers. So by the way, we fought these people <laughs> by this point in the game. Yeah. And she ring. Healies. <laughs> yes. They're, they're not just Healies, they're rocket Healies. <laughs> they, she can use the hover. <laughs> rocket Healies, the next in Healies technology. So what I don't get is if they're going to go in there and just shoot them, why did they bother burning the house down? Because fire is fun. Well, I guess 
Dale are just kind of burned, but okay. <laughs> Hey, look who it is. Yeah, Savino was with them. That's weird. This must have been, like, either right before or right after them. The whole thing with Ozzy. I think this was right after Operation Sweep. And she, like, quit after this. Yep. See? This is what's what I was talking about. Oh, this quality voice acting. <laughs> yeah. It's so dark. He's right here. I'm right here. <laughs> he just said he's right here. You'll be alright. It's just a scratch. We'll heal in no time. You've got a ton of things to ask that will, right? Callus, I'm sorry. When I first played this game, that's just his headband there, but I thought those were like his brains coming out. <laughs> I didn't I didn't ever think of it that way. Me. But now that you point that out, it's like this. Oh, don't go! God. <laughs> Please, don't leave me! Fee! 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 <laughs> Snake! 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 That, that is like probably the worst line of the entire game. <laughs> And <laughs> it just ruined the entire moment, too. Yeah. <laughs> now they're in Leeds' house, right? Oh, look, it's Gypsy, Hindu, and Doug ass. <laughs> yep. <laughs> when did they get here? <laughs> That's a good question. They probably flew over from Wazen. Yeah. Or Canada, I mean. Callus, <laughs> you're what are No. What is it with the, these people and making really obvious statements when people wake up? Okay, Bob just randomly decided to do his laundry in the middle of a recording. Alright. Well, we'll roll with it. He flew away with Melodia. <gasps> Where do you think they went? Maybe Core Hydra? They didn't say something about that, but I don't know. Maybe they maybe they went on maybe when they went on, on vacation, vacation to a new Anue. Yeah. <laughs> That would be a good place to go on vacation. Yeah, it would be a good vacation. Like to go see the giant tree. I, yeah. I know I have no right to say this. I won't ask you to forgive me. Once everything's over, I'll do anything to make up for what I've done. I think just killing that evil god is enough no. to make up for it. Yeah. I really need your help again. Mount Mercio must be <laughs> stuck. so emotional. This behind us. I do really like this song, but I it is know, not I on like my it iPod too. because it's, thank you. It, it, it's not like I like the more fast-paced epic boss themes than time. slow pieces like this. I like both. Guess we might as well. You're one hell of a kid. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Callus is We have to do something yeah. about Melodia and Mount Mercio, as we'll have to face them eventually. We might as Face them together! The power of friendship always prevails. Yeah! Basic. Elementary, my dear Watson. How about you, Shella? Huh? Well, you know, I think I'm just gonna abandon you right here, right now, for no reason whatsoever. We all saw what happened. Without her one track mind, we wouldn't have gotten this far. Ooh, that's actually a backhanded compliment. Bonsai! 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 <laughs> talking about? I totally don't know that we're in a relationship. Kibari! <laughs> Oof. Group face palm. Uh, the... People in love with each other, oblivious to it trope. You gonna sit there forever or what? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so basically what you missed was they forgave Cal's. Yeah, I figured that would happen. My winglet. Hey, why is he why isn't he blushing in the scene? You should be blushing in the scene. I thought you just might need it again. Oh, 
you know. I'm back in action, Gramps. His grandpa made the queen lit for him. So I saying that. But what about you? Nope. No, I think I'll just leave this world and end the game here. <laughs> what if what if what if it was like uh, Super Paper Mario where you can actually game over if you say no to accepting your grand quest? Yeah, I think you did that when you live streamed it that one time. Yeah. <laughs> you just say no, like, to someone requesting, like, you need to save the world, do it. You say no, the game actually does let you game over on that. It's great. Also, this is how uh, Guardian Spirit gets transferred. Through person. Sakura Blossoms. Yeah, Cherry Blossoms. Sakura? Sakura. Sakura! <laughs> That's exactly how they say it. It's a war chant, Sakura. Sakura! <laughs> oh god, that was that bad. Now we're going back over to Kellis again. Yay! Yay! He actually runs like a normal person. <laughs> yeah, he does. Although you can do weird things with his cape. <laughs> oh yeah, and his crotch cape. Yes, he has a crotch cape. <laughs> See the thing hanging down in front? That's his crotch cape. <laughs> uh, yeah. Matt Damon, it's great to have you back, Born. Hey, all right, you win. You're the boss. You got that right. You're the boss. I'm the boss. <laughs> Almost sounds like he was cocky a gun there. <laughs> all right, everyone. Time to save the world. Oh, it's, time, it's time to save the world music, by the way. This is the, it's time to save the world music. So what's the plan? Uh, the power of friendship? That's why we do a friendship rush. <laughs> we all hold hands on the way, that's how we do it. <laughs> red Rover, Red Rover, let my Perseus minions come over. <laughs> Well, darn. What about those strange figures who appeared when we were about to be crushed by Malfurtio and saved us all? Yeah, I remember them. It's like they just came in response to Miss me. Zudi, is there something you haven't been telling us? Actually, she did kind of say it at one point. But directly. No one, but no one paid attention. Exactly. Okay, so clouds below are these poisonous things called the taint clouds that form the bottom of the sky, as in the world. Ah. And no one ever thought to really go down below them. So it's kind of like a Skyward Sword situation. Yeah, it's exactly like a Skyward Sword situation. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like when I play Skyward Sword, I'm like, holy shit, this is bottom kind of <laughs> Except Zelda. Yeah. When you met at Lord Calvert's Manor, I never realized what it truly meant. Precisely. <laughs> 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 the great Zudi. Everyone's just like, dun, dun, dun. Hey, everyone stole C Sabina's catchphrase. <laughs> yeah, they were talking about it. Okay, well, you all saw it. So, yeah, Sabina's most common line, I, I kid you not, in this game is ellipses. Just three. <laughs> Your folks live in the clouds below. They live below the tank clouds. I thought they were thick of so, Bob, I'd like you to take one wild guess at what lies below the tank clouds. Okay. Something called the surface. Yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah pretty actually. much. Pretty much exactly that. <laughs> <laughs> the tank clouds, the children of the earth truly live down there? That's why they live below. <laughs> Maybe only sometimes, really, once in a blue moon. I love how if you type that into Google, it actually gives you the frequency in hertz of a blue moon. <laughs> Gotta love Google. Great, Mizuti. How did you get up here? Wait, you type in once in a blue moon and it gives you the frequency of a blue moon? In hertz. In hertz? What kind of number is that gonna be? Uh, really small. Yeah, I was <laughs> gonna say, it happens like once every three years. Then they find the next dungeon. <laughs> That's why you just hold your breath. Are you sure about that? 
Maybe the mask that Great Mizuti is always wearing works as some And sort now of you learn why she's wearing a mask. That makes sense. So the Great Mizuti stays safe thanks to that stupid. <laughs> 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 Easy for you to say. Sounds like we have a choice between poison or suffocation. What do you think? <laughs> I love it if you could, if they could, they gave you the choice of poison or suffocation. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Because, <laughs> like, in a way. It kind of bugs me whenever there are situations okay. in RPGs where it's like Let's you have a choice to make, but if you hit no, then the person's just like, please say yes, and then you get prompted again. Yes. If we go there, we might discover something new about Mount Urshio. So it's decided after a really lengthy cutscene that we are going to dive into the tank clouds. Let's head out. Now that Mount Percio's back in business, we don't have much time left. No time for tiddlywinks if we want to save the world before supper! You couldn't just let him say the line, did you? <laughs> <laughs> That's something Gibari says a while yeah. back. But, uh, this looks like a good place to well, cut why out. Don't, why, don't we head, why don't we head to the safe flower of the White Dragon, then we can stop. Alright, but there's <laughs> probably going to be a battle between them. <gasps> oh no, a battle? How terrible. Well, you have epic monster dodging skills, right? Reasonably so. See, look. Doing pretty well so far. Doing pretty well. Home stretch, come on, you can do it. Believe in you. There's one more. We're all on the edge of our seats. All two of us. <laughs> <laughs> See, you made it. See, no problem. So, with that... He's having trouble deciding which save slot. Save on. I like how the numbers automatically start like 0, zero 3. Like they know that you can make hundreds of save files. <laughs> Alright. Alright. So, next time. Bob, you do the outro. We're taking a dip. Okay, uh, this is an outro, and we're done with uh, Boss and Kaitos for now. I probably won't be joining you next time, but have fun, guys.